This is Andrea and I am taking the train because unlike Vi and Emily, I don't live in San Francisco so I actually need to take a train from the peninsula every day. Now we get to actually see how good the sound is here because it's kind of noisy where the train is. Um, the train is super crowded today so I'm not actually going to say much on this video. Kind of looks like it might be close to dinner moment. Now I'm off the train and walking in downtown Palo Alto. I'm walking to go meet my boyfriend because we are going to go see a concert at Stanford Auditorium later today, which they probably won't let me film, but I can try to film part of it. We'll see. I went outside to the garden. I wasn't sure which garden to film at, but I just think it's so pretty outside and I wanted to try it filming in the gardens outside and I know we filmed in other gardens already. Unfortunately, they don't allow recording at the concert in the concert hall at any time without prior express permission. So I wasn't even able to record the concert hall or the warm up or whatever, which was super sad. But the concert was amazing. It was really amazing. I was so happy. I don't go to concerts like this that often. I really liked it. So I went, we saw the Australian Chamber Orchestra and they played some things from Mozart and something from Haydn and then like something that was apparently the North American premiere um, of a recent composition, which had this cool Indian instrument called the tempura being played that I'd never seen before by this guy who was sitting there cross-legged with the tempura and his, it, it's like a lute, but it doesn't sound like a lute, like it makes this kind of thrumming noise instead of like even though it's being plucked. So I'm sorry about not getting the concert because it was amazing, but I was also worried that if I started recording, I would get kicked out and that would have been terrible. And I've noticed and this is the first time I've noticed this, that there are a whole bunch of these really cool flowers, lily flowers open, um, and I've never seen them open before. I didn't even realize there were so many of them or they were looking so cool. I moved closer to the flowers, so hopefully you'll be able to see them because I remember from previous recordings, the resolution on this camera is really not very good, so if you're too far away, which I probably was over there, the flowers are just going to look like a blur. All right, now I'm gonna move the camera slowly closer to the flower so that you can see it better. So sorry, it's gonna move. Hopefully that doesn't make anyone too disoriented who's watching this in VR. There we are. Maybe we can see some of the roses in this garden later when they actually open, which is not now. Is it April now? It's crazy in California, you just don't get used to the seasons or the weather. Like I just, I've lived out here since 2008 and I still like, I, I can't handle the lack of seasons in some sense. Like my brain doesn't par pass the, parse the passage of time. And apparently I have trouble parsing the word parse when I'm talking. So I've been over there and around this garden, but I guess I haven't really shown what's probably the kind of classic view of the garden where you're looking down it and seeing the pergola. Um, I'll move a little over so it also goes that way. So it's a kind of this is a fairly formal classic English style of garden where I think part of the idea of this kind of garden is it should sort of seem like the garden goes on forever, uh, which with the low resolution of this camera, it might actually look like. Um, from where I am, I can actually make out that there are some buildings around. I don't know that it's completely unchanged since it was designed, but the garden itself is uh, over 100 years old, which is pretty cool if you ask me. But instead, you get to see... The wind blowing my camera over. Oh, that was amazing. Be terrible. <laughs> 